Hello guys! Hello! Welcome, it's been a while. I know today's date is uh, November 10th. I was about to say November 5th. 3.58 p.m. and we are going to be going to a bookstore today. We're going to be getting the second copy for Iron Flame. It's going to be the spray painted edition, so I'm really excited about that. This bookstore is kind of far. It's about 30 minutes away from us, so yeah, we're going to be going there. Nikki's going to be coming with us and I'm really excited because I do want <laughs> the second edition to this to fourth volume. So very nice. Uh, I know it's been a while, but I miss you guys so much and I hope you guys have been well. So let's go ahead and uh, get this day rolling, shall we? All right, we got the book. Success. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, look at the pages. Oh. I'm getting the Red Queen and I don't know what Nikki's getting but every other book that I want like the Serpent of the Wings and stuff like that they don't have so I think we're just gonna order them on Amazon Who is here? What up? And yeah I'm excited and we got um, Iron Flame Show them the bunny Oh I think I showed them the bunny or show the bunny again Yeah Oh bunnies When life gets hard just know it could be a Animal trapped in a cage 24 7. Baby. <laughs> what? That's true. There's our cocoa clocks. There's Brittany's book. And this is the last Iron Flame book that they have here. Alrighty, so we're back from the writer's block. That was the bookstore that we went to. And I got Red Queen. And I also got Iron Flame. And I do have a fourth wing behind me, and this is a special edition. It's got the painted pages, like the spray painted edges. So I'm really excited to start the series. I haven't finished A Court of Mist and Fury, so I'm not done with that yet. But um, we're getting there. Um, I'm very excited yet nervous to kind of finish the series. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I'm only like on page 164, so we're getting there. And yes, I do like to buy books, as you can tell. My chat got me these, so uh, thank you guys, for those who got me the books. So yeah, I'm excited to see where, like A Court of Mist and Fury, I'm excited to see where the rest of the book continues to take me. And yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and coming along on this trip to the bookstore. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys would like to see more vlogs like this, leave a like on the video and comment down below if you'd like to see more or what other videos you'd like to see me do. All right, sounds good. Uh, see you guys later. Bye. What's up guys? Hi, hello. So welcome to the kind of second part of the vlog. I have Sherlock chilling right here. It's Riley in the background. This segment of the vlog is gonna be uh, me showing you guys like what's on my shelf, like what's on my bookshelf. And yeah, Charlie. Hi. Also, sorry if I sound a little weird in my audio. I do have my camera in my bookshelf because I didn't want to like have to take up the whole tripod and stuff. So kind of the, this would be like a better angle. Sorry for the mess in the background too. I haven't really found like the perfect area to do it. And it's currently 3.58 a.m. So let's get this uh, started. All right, so this is my bookshelf. Hi, this is me. What's up? This is kind of what I have on my bookshelf. I have my plants, I have my Nessies. This is also my kunai and it keeps falling. I have my pictures with Cole and Brie, my Nessies, insects, my propagations, and then more plants. This is kind of like randomized. Don't know what to do in here just yet. My books. And this is Sherlock's bed. And then here I just kind of have like random stuff for my camera. I've been trying to find like a good spot. But I don't know what I want to do with my wall just yet. I'm kind of waiting for the Elgato sound panels. Because they're really nice. But again, don't know what to do yet. So this is kind of just like my camera slash electronic cubby for now. I have my books. And this is it, and I'm gonna give like an in-depth thing. These are just kind of all over the place, like the lights, headphones, because I'm currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury. A really good book, by the way. And so I kind of just grab this one along with my light and headphones, because I like to listen to music when I read. And so yeah, let's jump into it more. Alrighty, so let's talk about it. As you all know, I got the most recent book, Iron Flame. 
and this is by Rebecca Yaros. So I went to the store and I got it. But a couple of days before that, I pre-ordered off of Barnes and Nobles for this book. And I was like, oh, like, it's just gonna be a normal cover. Like I wanted a sprayed, like the sprayed black edges, just right? I was like, okay, it's probably not gonna do that. It's gonna come in normal. And anyways, I got the package a couple days ago and it's sprayed edges. But the only thing is, like this one's from Barnes and Nobles. This is damaged. As much as I hate to see it, like say it. It is damaged, but otherwise it's still in pretty good condition other than the top. But someone's gonna be like, oh, like it's fine. Like, I don't know. I'm like a, a perfectionist compared to like this book. Like I don't really see any issues. Now I have two copies, so that, that's very nice. And then I was a fourth thing. So my chat actually got this for me. A majority of my books that I have on my shelf as of recently, like it's off my wish list. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. I haven't gotten started to reading the series yet, so yeah. Another book I also got from the bookstore besides Iron Flynn that day was Red Queen. I heard a lot of good stuff about this. Hey Charlie, Charlie's sitting in my lap. Um, I heard a lot of good stuff about it because it's like from hating each other to like loving, like I forgot what it's called. It's also like romance and stuff. So I like romance. I love dumbing, diving, dumbing diving into romance as of recently so so yeah that's what's on like my first copy of where my camera is and then let's jump into the uh, kotara series so all right this is the kotara series i bought the first two books and then the rest of the books like my chat got for me which i love so much i love i love 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 this book is a court of wings and ruin and this one is a court of frost and starlight i believe this book is about nesta and then a court of silver flames so so far i've gotten up to i finished a kotar and i'm on a court of mist and fury I don't, fury i don't know how you say it. it's like a comb off but i'm on page 183 i haven't been able to do a lot of reading as of recently so it's kind of been throwing me off and nikki's like almost caught up to me she's like have you read a lot of them like no i've had like family visiting and i haven't gotten any time to read and i've just been streaming and then cleaning so yeah hopefully i get to catch up on this book soon which i think i will be I'm gonna start to like prioritize reading before bed to give me more of a catch up for the like a Kotari series, which I really, 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 really want to do. And then my bottom shelf below this one, I have. So these are these books that I'm showing you guys are like books as of recently like that I've gotten. So the next one we have, I actually like these a lot. I'm like judging a book by its cover right now. It's a curse for true love. A Ballad of Never After and Once Upon a Broken Heart. This series is also really, 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 really good. I've heard lots of good things about it, so I'm really excited to read it. And we're gonna get to it eventually. Like, once I read a book, I won't be able to, like, put it down. And again, like, once you know, like, if you buy a book, you get a Barnes and Nobles and you buy a book, even though you haven't, like, finished a book, like, <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's gonna be okay. So that's what, um, I've, like, bought books and I've done that so many times. So thanks, Chad, again. I appreciate it. And then these books are huge. These books are by Sarah J. Mass. And this is Crescent City. And this is uh, House of Earth and Blood, House of Sky and Breath. Like these books are huge. Again, part of the SGM like series. I need to catch up on it. So I'm kind of like going with the flow right now. And then, so this is Divine Rivals. It's also like um, romance. It's going from like, I wouldn't say haters. Is that how you say from haters to lovers? I can't think of the word right now because I'm kind of like sleep deprived. Oh, it's enemies to lovers. Fuck. Okay, it's from enemies to lovers, okay? This is another one, I'm pretty sure. There's a second book. I actually pre-ordered it and it is called Ruthless Vows. So it's a second, the second book to this one. So I'm really excited for that one as well. I still haven't read this one. <laughs> You guys seen the pattern yet? Cause I do. I think the first series I ever read was the Maze Runner series. When we're diving into the books like I first started reading, like actually loved. This is the whole Maze Runner series. I love this one. Like you can see how damaged they are. Like I gave these to my brother, to my little brother to borrow. They're so, look at them. They're like wet pages. But anyways, I still keep them cause I love them a lot. Maze Runner took me into a whole different world. Actually like mind boggling the whole thing. And when I read book two, I was like, oh my God, this is insane. But then when I got to book three, the death cure, I was so fucking pissed. 
about what they did with the movie. Like, why would they take... They literally took parts out of the third book and they put it in the second movie and it kind of like ruined the whole timeline. Like, if you guys haven't seen the movie, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. But if you can, read the books. Books are always a hundred times better no matter what. I read part of the kill order, I think. And then I don't know if I ever read the fever code. So the fever code is a prequel about what happened for the Maze Runner. And then I have the Divergent series. So Divergent, Allegiant, no, Insurgent, Allegiant, and then four. I also have seen the movies, but I've never read the books before. So I decided to get the books and read it, but I only got up to page 79. Good for me. I'm a very big procrastinator, but I need to get back on my bullshit, so. Last but not least, I feel like this is a very underrated series that no one tends to read, but like this whole series is just insane. I read this book, well, the first book of when I started it, like 2016. This whole series is by Suzanne Young. All these books. This is the best fucking series ever. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm not gonna like spoil it, but basically they're saying like the only cure for the epidemic is the program. It's basically when they say like depression is a disease and it's like contagious. So they're trying to like fix them. Like, I don't know. That's the best I can say without spoiling the entire book, but the program by Suzanne Young, definitely worth it. Definitely read. I got up to the adjustment. So the second book is a treatment the remedy, and then the epidemic, and then the adjustment and the complication. I still have yet to read these two, but holy fuck. Game changer. They're such good books. Every time I'm like, oh, have you read like the program I sent you? And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah. Have you read it? And everyone's always like, no. And I'm like, Jesus. I feel very left out. So if you guys are seeing this, please read it and let me know what you think. Because I just want to share books that I love like with other people. Let me know what you think. If you wanna try, if you wanna like read it as well, just let me know in the comments below. So the rest of the books. Well, not really the rest. I have like two more I didn't show. This is Girl with Sharp Sticks. And this is also by Suzanne Young. This is a book that I bought. It's like when I go to Barnes and Nobles, like I treat myself, I go to Barnes and Nobles, I buy a book that I, I think is really good and I take myself on a cute little coffee date. This is one of the books that I got and I never got to read it, so. But that's also a really good one because I'm the type of re reader that, like, if I'm not intrigued by the first four chapters, this sounds really bad, but if I'm not intrigued by the first four chapters, I can't read it. It's, like, a part of my ADHD, you could say. So, I don't know. It has to be, like, grabbing me by the hair. Like, oh my god. Not, like, forcefully. Just, like, I have to be intrigued by, like, what I read. And I have to be, like, oh my god, I'm addicted. Page after page, like, yeah. And then another one is Fragments of the Lost. I think this one was a really good one. I read a couple of pages of it and I got these and I never read them. This is a uh, match and crossed by Ali Condi. Ali Condal? Condi? I'm gonna say Condi. But this is also a really good one. Again, I don't pick books unless I don't think they're good. And then A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes for the New Hunger Games. And then I have uh, The Rest of the Story. I got this one years ago, haven't read it. And yeah. I don't know. My new year's resolution is to definitely get through all these books by at least the summer, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, I do need a, another bookshelf and I was thinking about putting it under my window over there. I don't wanna show like this part of my room cause like it's really dirty. I wanna get another bookshelf to organize my camera stuff for my books and everything. Hi Marie. So yeah, that's it for my bookshelf slash book collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys would like to see more, let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in the video. Hi, Mim Mim. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. All right, bye.